Good morning. It's the day after the State of the Union Address, and everybody is expectedly hyper-focused on what was discussed last night. And I would agree, there was a ton of humdingers. It was one of the saddest, most disgusting State of the Unions that I have ever seen, and I did watch a large part of it. I didn't watch the entirety, but uh, I watched more than I didn't watch, and uh, it was horrible, just to, to put it lightly. However, do you think that they might use something like, oh, I don't know, the State of the Union address to kind of whitewash anything else that might be in the news? I do. I do. You know what was more important yesterday than the State of the Union address? I would say the final conclusion essentially of what happened in Uvalde, Texas and that horrid school shooting. Oh sure, you heard Biden talk about Uvalde. He brought it up, absolutely. But he only brought it up in the context of increasing gun control. He didn't bring it, bring it up in the context of holding people responsible that was, was involved in the clear negligence that happened down in Uvalde. Do you think there might be anything possibly that came out yesterday that may have intentionally came out yesterday so that it would be largely overlooked? I don't know. I, I have my suspicions that there just might be. Uvalde parents angered by new report that clears city police of missteps during Texas school attack. I'll leave the link to this article in the description and first comment as usual. It says an investigation Uvalde city leaders ordered into the Robb Elementary School shooting that killed 19 students and two teachers defended the actions of local police in a report released Thursday, prompting shouts of cowards during the city council meeting and causing several family members of the victims to angrily walk out. The report acknowledged wide failures by police during the 2022 attack and reiterated rippling missteps that the Justice Department and state lawmakers have previously laid bare. Nearly 400 law enforcement agents, including Uvalde Police Department officers, rushed to the scene of the shooting but waited more than an hour to confront a teenage gunman armed with an AR-style rifle. But an investigator hired by Uvalde officials found that the city's officers did not violate policies and in some cases praised their actions during one of the deadliest classroom shootings in U.S. history. The presentation prompted an eruption of anger among some of the victims, family members who also scolded the investigator for leaving the room before they had a chance to address him. Hmm. You said they did it in good faith. You call that good faith? They stood there 77 minutes, said Kimberly Matarubio, whose daughter was among those killed in the attack after the presentation ended. Jesse Prado, an Austin-based investigator and former police detective who made the report for the Uvalde City Council, began his presentation by describing the failures by responding local, state, and federal officers at the scene that day, communication problems, poor training for live shooter situations, lack of available equipment, and delays on breaching the classroom. You know, delays on breaching the classroom waiting for a key to a door in which couldn't have been locked because the door lock was broken. Hmm. The city's report is just one of several probes into the massacre, including the Justice Department report in January that criticized the cascading failures of responding law enforcement. This is ridiculous. I did miss a paragraph that says uh, there were problems all day long with communication and lack of it. The officers had no way of knowing what was being planned, what was being said, Prado said. If they would have had a ballistic shield, it would have been enough to get them to the door. Really? You had parents 
They were doing everything they could to get into that school to save their own children. But law enforcement needed a shield. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how much more it would take to prove to you, to show you, that not only is it an us versus them situation going on here, but they are not here to protect and serve. They are not here to help. And we see this time and time and time again. Look at the Marine that's most likely going to be put in prison because he tried to protect other people and unfortunately resulted in the death of the criminal. And so now the court system involving the police departments are going to go after this man for doing the right thing because they're too much of cowards are too ineffective to do anything. It's no surprise to me that this report came out yesterday. No surprise to me at all. Something needs to be said. Something needs to be done. And we need to have this discussion. We should not just let this go because it happened on the same day as some senile old man's bag of bullshit that he gave the country last night. We need to put that bag of bullshit where it belongs, in the trash can, and deal with problems that are actually taking. His, Joe's pushing for more, more killing of unborn babies. We can't save the living ones because of the cowardice government. And that's not enough. That's not enough just to let children die in a classroom from some madman. Oh no, we got to kill them before they can even get out of the womb. Fuck Joe Biden and fuck the Uvalde Police Department. Shalom.